If you're in the process of planning, building, or launching your no-code app, you might be feeling a little bit scared. During this time, you are going to have to talk about your app to people. You're going to have to talk to the people who might be able to help you build and launch it. You're going to have to talk to your target market. You might be publicizing your app. You might be building an email list. You, you have to talk about it in some situations. And in those, you might be fearful that a potential competitor is listening or watching or following your every move. And what if that person catches on to what you're doing and tries to copy you? What if they launch their own app and business? And what if they take away your potential users and target market? What if you lose your idea? Well, the reality is these are all normal concerns. Almost every entrepreneur has them. And if you don't, then they're probably coming. It's a very normal feeling. And in this video, we're going to talk about what to do if you are feeling these concerns as you plan, build, and launch your no-code app and business. Make sure you stick around until the end because we're going to talk about two factors that you need to be considering as you move forward. And each of them is equally important for the ultimate success of your no-code app in business. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No-Code Apps, where we help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can either launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. All right, so while this feeling is very normal and very real, in this video, we're going to do a little bit of a gut check. I'm going to give you a little bit of real talk so that you can hopefully move forward and know that I say all of these things with love and care for you and your success. Before we fully jump in, I want to I want to get you started with one single thought that will hopefully impact all of the rest of them. If you are scared to talk about your app idea because if someone else hears, they might steal it and go and, and do their own thing. If you're really scared that this is going to limit or even end your opportunity for success, I would ask yourself, do you really have a very good app idea? Because if your idea is so revolutionary that nobody else is doing what you're doing. Nobody else is solving the problem you're solving. Nobody else has this type of solution. Is the problem even real? Or if it's real, is it all that serious? Is it serious enough for people to actually be wanting a solution? Because if it was, then there would probably already be solutions out there. There are very few new ideas these days, but there are tons of new messengers. So if you are scared to even talk about your idea, just in case someone else tries to copy you, if, if you think it's that revolutionary, I would, I would do a serious gut check and make sure that the problem you're solving is a real problem that affects enough people for, to warrant you building and launching a product that is serious enough to warrant people paying for a solution, make sure that's all in place before you move forward. Once you've confirmed that, then we really get into the mental stuff, quite frankly. And that's okay. This is very much a mental game. As an entrepreneur, there are tons of decisions and fears that you're going to be facing and thinking through. So anytime these fears come up or these concerns, I want you to think about two things. Number one is if you're not talking about your app, no one will. That's just the reality. And so if you're scared to talk about your app right now, then know that nobody else is going to be talking about it either. That's of course not a good thing. Right now is when you want people to be talking about your app. Even when you're in the planning stages, even when you're in the development stages and you, you don't actually have your product yet, you want to be talking about it and you want other people to be talking about it because what you don't want to do is launch your product and then not have any users waiting on the other side so that you can start bringing them on and testing and iterating. You want to launch to users who are lined up waiting at the door. You want to start your user outreach early before you've launched and that requires talking about your app. Now is the time to talk about your app. But if that doesn't convince you, then consider these couple of factors. Where are you at in your process? I want you right now to think back 
when did you first come up with this app idea and what experience, insights, and knowledge led to you coming up with this app idea? What existing access do you have to your target market? Maybe you have contacts or colleagues or businesses or social groups, whatever it may be. What is your existing access? What is your knowledge of the problem you're solving? What's your knowledge of the processes involved? What's your knowledge of the desired outcome that maybe you yourself or your target market, what is your knowledge of the desired outcome that they want? What does their perfect world look like once this problem is solved? Think about all of those things. And then I want you to think about all the steps you've taken so far. What's the validation you've done? What are the conversations you've had? What's the planning you've done? What's the scoping? What's some of the development if you've already started that? Think about everything you've done up to this point. Now, if you talk about your app before it is launched, and someone out there sees that you have an idea and they think to themselves, oh, that sounds like a good idea. I should try that too. Do you really think that they are somehow going to be able to gain all of that experience and knowledge and insight and somehow surpass you? Okay. Realistically. Okay. Literally, could someone do it? Sure. But realistically, what, what's the likelihood of that happening? I want you to give yourself a little bit of credit because the likelihood of that happening is slim to none. But the second factor I want you to consider is that even if that did happen, okay, the reality is the features of an app, the technical specs, those are copyable. Those are things that anyone can build if they really want to. And so if you are concerned that someone is going to copy your features, well, I hope there is something else going into this app besides a feature set. Features can be copied by anyone on any platform, using any tool, using any language. They can all be copied. You've got to be bringing something else into it. And I have a feeling you are, but I want you to fall back and remember that because at some point, I hope you do have competition out there. That means that you have a good app idea. There is opportunity for growth. And if that is the case or when that is the case, ideally, uh, there's going to have to be something more you bring to the table besides a list of features. Okay, so remember, if you're not talking about your app, no one will. And now is the time where you really need to be talking about your app. Now, that leads us into the next point that I want to cover, which is, what if people do launch similar apps or what if there are already similar apps out there to what you are building or maybe to what you've already launched? Now that can feel pretty scary because it means competition. There are other solutions out there and now you have to be the best one for your target market. And the thing I want you to remind yourself when this fear or concern comes up is good. <laughs> That's great. It's good when there are alternative solutions out there. And one, of course, like we talked about earlier on, is that adds validation. It means that if other people are trying to solve the, pro the same problem you are, the problem is real and the problem is severe enough for users to ideally be aware of it, to be looking for solutions and to be paying for solutions. So if you feel this concern, then stop, do a little bit of a gut check and, and tell yourself, good, that's great. I'm glad there are other people solving the same problem as me. And remember that you're going to be solving it in different ways, right? Feature sets are copyable, but you are going to be filling holes and gaps in your market. And you're going to be serving a certain segment of your target market that someone else isn't going to be. So you're going to be differentiating yourself. That is just a business practice. But beyond that, I want you to think about this a little bit differently. So this is a reframe here. But if you have other solutions out there, it means that you are not the only person talking about the problem that you're solving and talking about the solutions that are available and talking about the outcome that those solutions can bring. And here's the thing, no matter how much you do talk about your app and your business, there are going to be some people in your target market who never hear of you, who are never introduced to you. Okay. That's the reality. But if more people 
in your market are talking about the problem, their solution, and the outcome, if there are other apps out there who are all talking about it, then that's going to create more market awareness of the solutions. That means that the people who maybe weren't aware of the solutions in the first place, that means that they are going to become aware, or at least they're going to be more likely to come across a solution. And if they learn about a solution, well, they're going to be more likely to look for other solutions. Now they're going to be more likely to find your solution. So remember that there are parts of your target market who you're never going to have the opportunity to reach if you're trying to reach them alone. But by having competitors out there who are also spreading the word, talking about their solutions, there's going to be more market awareness and you are going to have a higher likelihood of gaining more users and building your own business because of it. So think about that reframe. It's a really important one and it can serve you so well and actually help you appreciate having competitors out there in the market. So listen, if you are concerned to start talking about your app and spreading the word because you're worried someone's gonna steal your idea or you're worried about competition, it's normal. It's such a normal thing and I don't blame you for feeling it. I've been there and every other entrepreneur I know has been there too. But as you move forward, remember that if you're not talking about your app, no one will be. So you need to be talking about your app. Now is the time. And number two, if there are other alternatives, competitors on the market, good, great. That's a good sign of validation. And it means there's going to be more market awareness and ideally more people coming your way because they have the opportunity to find you. So do those reframes, remind yourself of those moving forward. It's gonna help make this process a lot easier for you. It's gonna help you build traction with your app because the word is actually going to get out there. You're actually going to be able to do your user outreach and you'll be able to launch and grow thereafter. Now, if you're in these early stages where you are planning for your app's development or maybe you've started development and you wanna make sure you're moving forward correctly. We have a free workshop. It's an extended training that you can deep dive into and tackle these initial steps a lot more efficiently and correctly. It's over at coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. So you can head to that, join in. Uh, We'll hope to see you there, but I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.